Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through law of equimarginal utility. So whenever there are, in the previous lecture, we have gone through normal diminishing utility, right? So in that, we considered only one product. So if here, if we are having two products and we want to get the maximum satisfaction, then what, how and how we can be getting it? So here we will be using a small formulas. Don't worry, guys. We will be explaining with an example. Don't worry. So when someone spends his or her money on various goods, to buy them and to get maximum satisfaction. So how can they get the maximum satisfaction at minimum cost? So that is the main goal of this equimarginal utility guys. Okay. So here also we are having some assumptions. So the assumptions are there is no change in the price of goods. There should not be any change. The income of the customer should also be fixed and the customer should be a normal customer. Producer product or goods should not be too big or too large. Okay. So this is a small example guys. So basically you may ask me that I wrote the small formula in this way, right? Is equals to this I wrote. So this is nothing but the utility, the maximum utility that is nothing but maximum satisfaction when you get when you eat the product A. Px is nothing but price of x and similarly this is nothing but the maximum utility when you eat y and this is the price. So by dividing them, so he, from, till here the question will be given guys. So you will be dividing this with the question 2 here and you'll be getting these values. So similarly, you'll be multi dividing by two and dividing by three, you'll be getting these values, fine. So once you're done till here, so the maximum equi, equi utility. So if you observe the question, so equi marginal utility, so it should be equal. So check whether 10 is there in this, no. So please draw a cross mark, nine, not there. Eight, there, seven, there, six, there, five, there. So let us assume in the question, they gave that the maximum money or the coins that you are having is 24 coins. So in 24 coins, you need to get the maximum satisfaction. So your thing will be, so these are the common things. So you will be assuming any one of the number of these four guys. So let us assume five. So I assumed five. So at five. Okay. So what are the number of units? That is nothing but six. So six units we are having of X. So we are having X six units. And similarly, we are having here five. So Y is nothing but four units. So six, four. So the cost of the first X is a three and Y is a two. Sorry, reverse I told x is a 2 and y is 3. So we got 12 plus 12, we got exactly 24. So please try for another also guys. So for other, if you got less than 24 or greater than 24, we will not consider. If we got exactly 24, we can consider it. Or if there is no exact 24 and we got 1 or 2 less than 24, we will be considering that. So which is giving the maximum satisfaction, we will be considering that with low cost. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this. So in the next lecture, we will be starting with demand and its types guys. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.